some air through your tongue. Try to do this. Tha. Tha. This is the TH sound in English. Now when you pronounce this sound, there are two ways of doing it. One, you pronounce it tha. This is voiceless. And second, you pronounce it like th. There will be vibration here. If you touch your throat here, you will feel some vibration. You'll pronounce it like th. So that is the voiced one. Let's practice these sentences. Voiceless and aspirated and the voiced one. Thin, thick, theory, think, thing, thigh, thailand, thanks, thanks, nothing, north, truth. So, you have seen how I have joined my tongue with my upper teeth ke join kiya and then I pronounced it. So you got to copy that. Now, let's go on with some sentences. Think about something in Thailand. I will eat anything healthy with my teeth. Thank you for driving back and forth this month. I think Beth is traveling north on the Path. He thanked me for nothing in the north one month ago. This was TH without voice. Now we are going to learn TH sound which is the voiced one. I mean where you're going to do some vibration and this will be pronounced like Z. Position of the tongue is same but now you'll be doing Z. And do not hesitate. Enjoy. You're doing something new. As you know, when you were small children, you're making faces and all that stuff. So you can do it. This is how you're actually going to improve your English. Pronounce it again after me. Good. There. Then. Them. That. The. Brother. Not brother. That's wrong. Brother. Either. Other, smooth, breathe, bathe. Now we have sentences. Improve your English, then celebrate. That mother can't breathe. I rather like this weather. Weather. My brothers bathe there. Father's breathing system is not smooth. Father's breathing system is not smooth. That is the TH sound. Now let's do this paragraph. Now let's read this extensive practice TH sound. There will be the paragraph on your screen and you got to read it after me. Pronunciation is rather fun. If you try another technique. Think about the person you are talking with. Although you are pretending, yet this method will make your speaking more smooth. That is all for now. So that was TH sound. It is quite challenging, but you got to practice and learn this TH sound. Watch this portion of the video about TH sound at least three, four times, and then stand in front of the mirror, take your tongue out of your mouth and practice. The next combination is T-I-O-N. And T-I-O-N will be pronounced like shun. The words are action, correction, Dictation, fiction, projection, quotation, rotation, selection, vacation. Now let's use these words into sentences. Actor's action needs correction. During the vacation, practice the dictation of quotations. He reads fiction in his diction. His projection of dedication has caused his selection. The selection of fiction and dictation is in action. The next combination is T-I-O-N and T-I-A-N. It is also pronounced like shun. 
suggestion a very common mispronunciation you ask people you will say please give me some suggestion suggestion is wrong the correct English is suggestion so it is suggestion question Christian however in American English sometimes question is also pronounced as question as the ex-president of USA George Bush he used to say question and all that okay the next sound is uh, V now look at me look at my lips you are not going to say we it is not we this is the sound of W when you're going to pronounce V you are again going to bite your lower lip with your upper teeth like this V same is the sound of F now see where F finishes V starts for example F V F V so where you finish F from there you're going to begin V sound F V F V let's read these words together van vein vessel vest volcano various vivid void vigilant viva visit visa the sentences visitors need visit visa to visit Vietnam various volcanoes erupt vividly vessels visit various places American invasion in Vietnam was in vain Vivienne avoids the violent volcanoes vigilantly now the next sound is W look at me you are going to pronounce W like W so it's not going to be like V for example uh, you will see people saying what is your name what is absolutely wrong it can be maybe a Punjabi word or somewhere so you will not what you will not say what you will say what W H A T will be pronounced what when you will not say what you will when when वह साउंड जो है वो W की साउंड है। This is not वह साउंड जो है वो V की साउंड है। This is not actually the W sound. So this is what, when, where, wagon, water. Now you will not say water, water. No, water, winter, waste, waiter, wise, wisdom. Wit sentences what is in this glass of water when and where will you go this winter wise waiters waste their wisdom winter brings cold water in Waterloo water of waterfall is cold in winter weather that was the sound of W now we have a combination which is WH and WH is usually pronounced like W. So it's going to be almost the same. When, what, why, where, weather, white, wet, whistle, wine. The sentence is what is white in my room? Whether the weather is good or bad he always whines why do you whistle when will you go to white house he whistles when she whines in white dress that is wh now the next combination is who and who here uh, w is going to be silent and you will pronounce it as who you will not say woohoo who is going to be some kind of ghost or monster sound so you have to pronounce it like who w is going to be a silent letter in this combination please repeat after me whosoever whosoever see the v sound whosoever whose whole who w r in the combination w r W is silent and it is usually pronounced like R. 
So wrong. Now you will never say wrong. Wrong is actually wrong. Wrong, right, wrote, written. Wrangler, wrong, writ, ran. That was the WR sound. And now we are going to learn X sound. X is usually pronounced like KS. So X-ray. See X, X, K and S. Two letters are mixed here together. X-ray, experiment, extol, exercise, excellent, exception, exercising, eccentric, eccentric. Now we have the double C and double C is also giving the X sound. If you remember when we were learning except, so except double C and X are giving the same sound. However, at the beginning of world, X is often pronounced like English Z. So this is xylophone. Now you will not say xylophone, no. This is xylophone, xenophobe, xenia, zing. After A, E, O, X is also pronounced like G. Examples, exorcist, exert, exaggerate. Now see, I'm pronouncing X as G. Exaggerate. Now see, I'm pronouncing X as G. So this is exaggerate. Executor, executive, execute. There are few exceptions to this rule, that is for X. Ex-wife, exchange. Here we pronounce it differently. Y. Y is often pronounced like Y in yes. Yes. So the sound is J. Jojo. Have you seen yo-yo? It's a game with a thread. There is a little thing, right? Like a wheel. It goes down and you play yo-yo. Young. Yes. Yellow, youth, th sound, youth, yoke, yield, jeer, jen, yacht, jeun, yell. The sentence is with Y. Yes, youth years are usually unique. Yellow yo yo is in the yellow yacht. This year, now, usually people pronounce it as ear, first ear, second ear. Remember, this is your ear. This one is not ear. You will pronounce it as year. So, this year, your youth will use your yellow yacht. Yes, yacht is with young boys. Jen is yours. In some words, Y is pronounced like E, city, kitty. Kathy, Key, Freddy, Jemmy, Jimmy, Timmy, Clergy, Foggy. Sentences. Kitty is in the city. Jimmy has the key. Freddy lives with Jimmy. Kathy and Kitty don't talk to James and Jimmy. Jay lost the key in the city. Or in some words, Y is pronounced like A-I, like you say I. So, I, buy. You will not say buy. B-U-Y is actually buy. Clay, day, fry, try, cry, guy, J, lay, may, pray, ray. Say, toy, way. The sentence is, by the way, buy me the clay. Lay in May the whole day. Hey guy, where is my toy? Now you will not set the Y, yeah? Hey guy, where is my toy? Try to fry the fly. That's not a good idea to fry the fly, but some people like it. Today, on the way, pray for Jay. Today, on the way, pray for 
J. The last letter of English language is Z. Or in American English, they pronounce it Z. Let me tell you, British and American English, that is going to make the difference at the advanced level. At this level, you have to make your English standard. If your English is standard, then obviously you can, you can learn British English, you can learn American. But if your English is Pakistani English, you cannot learn British or American. So all you need to do, first you have to make your English standard international English. And then you can learn British, American, Australian, Canadian or any other dialect of English. So let's pronounce Z or Z. Zoo, zoology, zeal, zesty, zebra. Now Americans will say zebra and the British people will say zebra. Have you seen in our own Urdu language, some people say ghalat, kuch log kehte hain ghalat, kuch log kehte hain ghalt. Ab ghalat, ghalt hai ya ghalt, ghalat hai, ye aap behter jaante hain. So, Variations are the part of language. Hamesha yaad rakhe, language koi science nahi hai. Language ke rules hard and fast nahi hote, wo change hote rehte hai according to the region or origin. Zesty, zebra, zone, zonal, zair. Sentences, zoo is full of zesty children. Now see, zoo is full of zesty children. Zebra is showing zeal and zest. He is zonal head of this zone. He is zonal head of this zone. Zoology is an interesting subject. There is a crazy zoo in Zaire. That was the Z sound. 